We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Zach Wheeler is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phils. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? You know, Matt, his last one wasn't horrible, but this guy did give up five runs in his last start. He was tagged with the loss, and he's going to look to be a lot better in this one here today. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Back goes Harper. That one is gone. What a way to lead off a ball game. This guy has some pop. You can't just lay one in there. What happens? He leads the game off just like that. It's one nothing. Got to the plate now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they've been in a serious tailspin of late, winning just once in their previous ten games. Yeah, Matty B. Hey, Dero, talk about a team that's scuffling right now. I had a chance to talk to manager before the game. He's not happy. The players aren't happy. Yeah, and just a malaise has kind of come over this clubhouse. We had a chance, like he said, to walk through it a little bit. The boys are not jumping around. This is a big game today. Striding into the box, Bo Bichette. And he has been, pardon the cliche, in fuego of late. Seen that average shoot up quite a bit over the past eight ball games. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And the run will score all the way from first. It's a 2-0 ball game. One team's dream inning is another team's nightmare, right? That's their third hit of this opening inning. This one a double. That's got to have the pitcher pretty upset out there and the manager wondering how long he's going to go in this way. Strike taken, the throw. And he's safe. Bichette at third with nobody out. And it's fouled away. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Kingery's there. Throw to first is in time for the first down. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. And you can see great numbers over the past few games. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a swing. And oh, man. Way out of here. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. At the plate now, Lourdes Gurriel. Gurriel. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Goodness, 0 and 2 now. Down, 0 2. Four runs here in this half inning. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. High chopper to third. Gonna be a tough play. And that's the second out. Had to protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and the inning continues. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Reese McGuire is in with two away as he takes a ball, one and zero. From the belt, the pitch, shot toward right center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that. 
Ryan Barucki, a southpaw from Illinois, gets the starting call in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His number. The wind up and the 0 1. And he's way off balance with the swing there. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Another 0 and 2 coming. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. And this is hauled in on the run for the out. And he had a lot of ground to cover to get to that one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Andrew McCutcheon stands in as he looks at a called strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah, Matt, we don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. Locked him up with the off-speed stuff on that one. Andrew McCutcheon becomes out number two this inning. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. So here now is the pitcher, Ryan Barucki. He'll get to take his first cuts here. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. Kingery is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Paul Molitor, second at bat for him. And remember, he let off the ball game with that home run to get this offense going. Throw gets him, two down. Into the box, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He reached on a single in his first try. Swing and a liner, but foul. Got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. Fouled away. Guerrero has all the necessary skills to play great defense on the left side of the infield and it makes him really fun to watch. He can pick it with the best of them but what sets him apart is the huge arm. It's accurate. It's incredibly strong. Certainly has the ability to uncork a throw and beat a runner when he needs to and it's impressive to watch. Yeah anybody that has the ability to go to their backhand and to absolutely fire a cannon across the infield is a huge asset to have. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to left, number 10 for him on the year. And the Blue Jays are running away with it here. It's now a 5 nothing ball game. Into the box, Bo Bichette. Man, this has been a rough one for this guy so far. That's the third homer. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Jays add one. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Owen won the count. Hoskins behind the count Owen two. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go Matty, about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much he can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Heading out towards shallow right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Batting fifth, the second baseman, Didi Gregorius. At the plate, Didi Gregorius. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Gregorius, 
also known as Sir Didi around the game and in the Netherlands. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Philly. Top of the third set to get underway. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Joe Carter. Hit hard up the middle. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. With that, the Jays put their leadoff man on to start the inning. Well, pitching poorly once like he did in his last start, it's going to happen here or there, but he's struggling here again, too, and there has to be some concern. And part of it is probably psychological. He's got to get those here-we-go-again thoughts out of his head. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Christopher Sanchez is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. One of the keys to stealing a base is to get a great jump, and he got a great jump there, even though this catcher has a strong throwing arm. Catch made by McCutcheon. Here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. Digging in for his second at bat, Travis Shaw. He singled his last time up. And the runner's breaking for third. That's a strike to throw down. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. One out and a runner on third. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Williams is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. So no one on now after the sack fly. And now it'll be the catcher, Reese McGuire. This is skied into short left center. McCutcheon is under it. And that's the third out. Up next will be Nick Williams. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. First offering on its way. Scott Kingery comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Popped him up. Guerrero has room in foul territory, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting the pitcher. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Christopher Sanchez stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Oh, and he's finding his groove out there now. It's 0-2. Hey, this guy obviously feels he can move track. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will... New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Ryan Barucki. Here comes the first pitch. Barucki. Swing, and he pops him up. Segura. Onto the grass. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the now inning. Second base. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. And stepping in, Paul Molitor. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. There to take it in is McCutcheon now for route number two. Now batting. The third two are gone now in the Blue Jays half of the fourth. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. Fly ball out toward left center field. McCutcheon is under it and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. But they're still... Gene Segura standing in. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. On the ground to third. Throw on to first in time, one away. The left fielder, number 22, Andrew. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Strike one to start the at bat. 
Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. The one two. On the ground to the right side. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And there are two away now. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. He's 0 for 1 thus far. In there, no balls and a strike. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And right into the shift. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They need to get something cooking here. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And stepping up is the shortstop, Bo Bichette. So here comes the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. High chopper to third. He's got to hurry. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The left field. And now the Toronto number four hitter, Joe Carter, one for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Now a left hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. Sharp ground ball to third. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup part because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. Pulled toward right center field. Williams comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. The right fielder, number 13. At the plate, Lourdes Gurriel. Gurriel. Prior to the at bat, a check on first. Runner back standing. First pitch of the at bat. Hit high and deep out to left center field. McCutcheon going back. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the end. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Good hard sinker that time, and he's in control 0-2. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher, able to pound his zone with all different options. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive? No walks up to this point, so he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. His command has been out. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Phillies down in order. They're down by a touchdown, 7-0. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and next will be the speed threat, Travis Shaw. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Here for it is Segura to make the play. One gone. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. So striding forward now, Reese McGuire. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. And the sixth oh. inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. The pitcher, number 56. Ryan. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Ryan Barucki. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. 
Weak rounder back to the mound. On to first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three-pitch inning, and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order, and they hold a... In now, Nick Williams looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. One and oh, the count. Swung on and missed. One and one. Same pitch that time, the sinker, but it looked like he made a good adjustment with it. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. Released it from out front much better that time. I just think he wasn't real happy with the first one he threw, so he wanted to get the feel back for it. Kingery. Scott Kingery is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Davey Grion will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Wow, this guy's Number mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. We're through six. Adam Morgan enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Paul Molitor. First pitch coming, here it is. Yanked on the ground down the line. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Pulled high in the air out to left field. McCutcheon is under it. One down. Now that is the third base. So one away now in the Vladimir Toronto seventh. Guerrero. And that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. The bat, number 11. Stepping in for the Jays, Bo so Bichette. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch on its way. And not the greatest of starts to the at-bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And goodbye, this one ain't coming back. Yeah, and you could see he just made a mistake. He was cruising in the seventh, getting the first two outs, but then he offered up one that caught a little bit too much of the plate. This one got up and out of here, ruining what looked like a good appearance out of the bullpen. Standing in now, Joe Carter. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Jays add one more on the solo home run. Get up and stretch. Ready to go for the last half of the Here inning. And coming well, forward Billy. now is the shortstop, shortstop. Gene Segura. Gene. This is Segura. foul right side. The wind up and the 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, two, and it's just well, that's about good. every at bat. And when that's the case, that's your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are okay. way worse. Andrew McCutcheon stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. Behind 0-2 now. Popped up. Guerrero over to his right, and he makes the catch for the second out. 
the right fielder, number three. Here's the first pitch to him. Harper. Bryce Harper is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Harper behind with an 0-2 count now. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Ready to begin the eighth, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Billy McKinney. Center fielder, number 28, Billy. He's set, here it comes. Count one and oh. With this one almost in books, the story it was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Here we go. First pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Harper giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Now the 1-0. This is pulled into right. And Harper will make the catch, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Sinker misses and it's one and two now. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. Now batter. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with the strikeout there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. Real Muto behind with an 0-2 count now. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1-2. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. We're getting into the nitty-gritty. That's the second out of the eighth now inning, back. and the pitcher needs pitch. only four Didi. more outs for a no-hitter. Didi Gregorius is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Here's strike two as the hanging slider was let go. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got him! So that's eight perfect innings, and the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. All set for the start of the Lead inning, off. and next to hit is the catcher, the Reese McGuire. Number 10. From the stretch. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. So, back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back to back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. High in the air out to center field. Williams has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Now so in now is the Blue Jays pitcher, Ryan Barucki. Fourth plate appearance for him tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game long. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. 
And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the lineup flips over and digging in Paul Molitor. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. From the stretch here's the pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Uh, no plate discipline that time and he's in the hole now 0 and 2. Hey this is an amazing inning right here attacking the zone keeping his defense invested chance to get off the field super quick. A swing and a ground ball to third but this will wind up foul still 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch a bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. So the so next to the plate for the Phils, Nick Williams starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Maybe lucky to get a piece there. It stays 0-2. Got him. So the magic number for a perfect game is now down to two. First pitch on its way. Grounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball here. 0-1. The 0-1. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Shaw is there and there are two men gone now. Roman Quinn will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Taken and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Boy that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider just missed the corner as they say that's a Hall of Fame pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, no need to offer any debate this time. All you have to do is look at the box score. No hit.